everybody, it's Hillary. It's so nice to see you guys. I am the creator and founder of Silvervine Oracles, and I wanted to do a very quick, trying and getting better at this, these quick messages for today. I feel like there's some swift movement. They're showing me like a leaf being like whoosh, swept off their feet is what I'm hearing. Uh, there's some big surprises coming. Remember, try, it's so easy to have some kind of expectation be, and even if you were to get something wonderful, if you had an expectation, it could ruin that. But nothing that is meant for you is going to pass you by. So just instead get really excited for something. I feel like there's they're showing me like a newspaper being just like, instead of just like thrown to your step, it like hits you on the head. So I feel like it's going to happen when you're not paying attention. Like, oh, wow, I was like daydreaming or I was just like staring off into space and all of a sudden this big news comes. So we're going to see what's going, how much they're going to let us know what's going to happen in the immediate future. We're just going to try and get a little greedy and see what they can tell us is going to happen. I am using my Angels of Abundance because they tend to be pretty blunt on what we need to do. And then I'm going to end with the Moonology deck. So what can we expect now? What can we expect immediately? Have courage to ask for and accept help. And I'm actually seeing this is, I feel like someone's gonna ask you something or you're gonna ask someone something. They're gonna be nervous and so are you. This could be a job um, proposition. This could be someone deepening their love for you. This could be someone reaching out for like reconciliation. This could be, I just feel a lot of like tender heart heartedness. And I do feel like they're saying cloud nine. So this is gonna bring a lot of like relieving energy and it's going to be reciprocated. Ooh. So what else can I know? I'm so snoopy today. I just like wanna know what's going on. I do see a box, whether this is a gift, an Amazon box. This could also mean that a message is gonna be delivered and they're doing this on time. But like I see someone like fidgeting with their toes and waiting and waiting and it's gonna happen this news or breakthrough, this could be an aha moment. Could, I feel like it's gonna happen unexpectedly. So let's see. Oh my God, I just feel like, oh, right here is like, <gasps> what is it? What is it? <laughs> you can't complain, no more complaining. I feel like she's saying to this kid, you need to wait until after dinner. That's what's coming forward. Like she just wants to play or she wants to know something. And oh, to me, bunnies specifically mean you need to be patient. Uh, oh my God, I'm just so excited. Yeah, she's being very mature about this, very regal. And she knows something's happening, but the kid has to, it's like you'll, because you're in an excited state or you're anxious or you need to know something, it's not going to happen. It's so as soon as you become, they're saying presence, mindfulness, breathing. When you, when we're excited and anxious, whether it's positive or through stress, it's because anxiousness kind of lives in the future. When we're talking about things that make us anxious or fearful, that lives in the future. Rather, if we're saying, oh, I'm so sad, I'm so regretful, that tends to live in the past. So when we're anxious and anticipating or we need something to happen, it's probably a future event. And spirit, my boy spirit, is saying to you, you'll get this awesome next step or validation or aha moment when you're in the present moment. So it's hard to do, especially when you're really excited or when you're just overwhelmed and you need some help. A good exercise is doing mindfulness breathing. Breathe in, be mindful you're breathing in physically. Breathe out, I am physically breathing out. By doing that simple task 
of just breathing. You are actually the most present you possibly can. And that's what you do. I Breathing in, I am present. Breathing here, I am in the now. And the same thing. I am taking one physical step forward. I am taking the next physical step forward. That's mindfulness walking. And by doing things like that, you're bringing yourself out of that futuristic um, ah! energy and you're coming back to this moment. I am seeing a lot of pink. Pink and green are interchangeable. Um, green is like heart chakra for me. However, pink is heart chakra, but it's more about like love. What brings you joy? Something that'll just make you want to live. And they're saying besides a paycheck, besides material things, they're showing me like um, pearls being thrown out in the garbage. Like you don't need these things anymore. We put back, yeah, declutter. We're decluttering old perceptions. Oh, I need to have all these things. Or, you know, I earned, I worked so hard to get this pearl necklace and I have it. And I still feel the same. And that's, an awakening type of mindfulness of that happiness isn't the work we do it isn't the things we buy it is those are not accomplishments they they are but not in this sense the accomplishments are my hands are empty I woke up today I was gifted 24 hours to live and to breathe on this earth I'm happy sitting here brings me joy that is true decluttering that is true happiness and you're doing it this is amazing by doing this by getting rid of false securities you are removing so many obstacles and so many blocks oh i feel like a, a brick just got inserted into my heart i just feel like they're saying setbacks. You've either had setback after setback after disappointment after disappointment. And I feel like you just kind of have been walking like an animatronic. Like I, you just don't even have room for thought because you're just so in a low place, they're saying. And it's this decluttering, <laughs> stopping the complaining and doing something about it where even including asking for help, even if you're asking yourself to help yourself, it's kind of morbid, but they're showing me like this sword was like in your heart, like the sorcerer's stone, like your heart was stone and you put this sword in there as a key, which is painful. Um, and I think something's happening where either somebody, yourself, or a situation is actually pulling the sword out. Huh. I, I'm like, <gasps> like you finally can breathe. Yeah, you deserve this. You absolutely deserve this. This is like that turquoise. This is like that sensitive communication. How many times have I said that? Jeez, within the past few months. And it's like, you're finally as in you're communicating this beautiful transformation, this clarity is coming your way, a brand new truth. And over your head, to me, that's more of like solar plexus chakra, just like you have so much confidence. And I, like, I noticed her long hair, so longevity for some reason is coming through. Like this is something that yeah, you're like you think. I feel like a lot of us have just been staying up all night thinking of all these things. Kind of like they're saying, wishing upon a star. You want some. You want to deserve this. You want it to be long term. You know, you hold out, you've been holding out a lantern for this. And yeah, someone's going to join your band. <laughs> this is, this is amazing. All right. I'm going to go sneak. What am I at? Nine. Okay. We're at almost 10 minutes. 
I'm gonna go be more Snoopy and see what we can expect, like, today. I'm so, like, what is going on? So what can we, all right, what can you tell me for today? What can you tell me about today? Today, something is going to strike you in the heart in a good way. It's gonna hit you in the feels, and it's gonna help you finally be like, oh my God, that's the bigger picture. This bow and arrow has been like lurched back for a long time now, gaining momentum for this moment. Now remember, try not to have any like expectations. This could be just a simple, oh, I get it moment. It doesn't have to be like, a, oh my God, cash and prizes. You are the cash and prizes. You being here on this earth, you are a cash and prize for everybody else. I do see like a mix of purple energy. To me, that's like a uh, purple for me is uh, your crown chakra, which is all about your spirituality or if um, just your faith, having faith in something that brings you joy, having faith that brings you love and it's the bigger picture. So let me see. All right. What can, what, what is going to come with this? So, or what else can you, what can you tell me? Yeah, don't let your pride get in the way. Don't be like, well, that's not going to happen to me today. That is magic. That's a magic word. If you say things like that, you know, you're setting intentions to not be happy. And you create your own reality. And you're that powerful. Have the confidence that you can bring in your ultimate wish fulfillment in instead of all oh, that that just sounds too good to be true you're not being honest with yourself you deserve that card you deserve you deserve to be happy you truly do because luck is on your side that bow and arrow has been quivering gaining momentum and it's about to be launched crescent moon all about and this a new beginning faith right we're talking about that purple, it's, you're having like faith again that you can be happy and you're being asked to grow those, to, um, oh, this guy, give me a sec. This is a fantastic book. Everyone, everyone needs to read this, but this guy right here, I always butcher his name. So it's right here. Tick not hon or Han. Sorry, I did my best, but this guy. He talks about the practice of watering your flowers. We have seeds that grow suffering. We have seeds that grow happiness. And you're being asked these purple flowers to start watering your faith again. I can, I deserve, I succeed, I am happy, I am grateful, I am, I have, I am abundance myself start watering your seeds of happiness and joy again it's time to get that negativity and to me these little pincher pinchy guys they're snipping off the flowers that have wilted they, they no longer have a purpose on the stock their purpose is to be cut to drop down to the soil and become compost and that is the ideology of a lot of this Buddhism or just mindfulness practice that suffering is required for happiness. And when you practice suffering well, it's like, okay, I am suffering. It's time for me to transform. This is my wilted flower. I have bloomed and the purpose of this chapter in my life has served its purpose. It's now time to cut and let go of this situation, person, relationship, let it fall and it will nourish, it'll turn into compost, it'll nourish a new idea, a new, a rebirth. Oh, it's time to give rather than to take. Take, 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 take. We like to take away things that we truly deserve it's time to give the people you love the time and attention they deserve. It's time to give yourself 
the time and attention you deserve. It's time to nourish yourself. Believe the impossible because it's coming, guys. And this is like, again, communication in a very emotional, like, wow, deep communication. So this is going to be like, they're, they're showing me the light bulb flashing on. And it's like almost so bright, it's going to burst, but it's not. Oh, all right, I'm going to leave that there, guys. I hope this brings you some kind of excitement. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you wish to have a personal reading so we can delve deep to see what's going on in your own personal journey, feel free to message me. I believe it's uh, silvervineoracles.gmail.com. If you wish to just have daily, which I do try to do every day with the exception of yesterday, but you know, whatever. Um, daily readings it's the collective so you might fit in that pocket of people or you might know someone who might fit in that but if you don't that's okay that just means you can hold space for the people that do resonate with that i am on instagram silvervine.oracles i forgot what i was going to say because the spirit's like you're done you gave away way too much information i mean we let you have it but and now i'm rambling so have a wonderful day. Oh, remember, time is fluid. If you see a video of mine or a post that I've made on Instagram, but it was from a month ago, yesterday, uh, half a year ago, time, we create time. Time is fluid. That They can happen at any time. Maybe you already watched a video or you've read a reading I did but you are compelled or use out. I'm gonna read that again. You might see the same message, but something's different and triggers you. So try not to pay attention to timestamps or what day it is. Just follow your intuition, your gut, your gut feeling. And yeah, okay, bye guys, love you all.